Tonight we're revisiting the biggest investigation in your story's history. Four years ago, your calls and emails led to our team uncovering defective license plates. We're hearing from many of you once again. Those plates are still peeling, it seems, and it's not just the white ones we first told you about here. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan hits the road in search of peeling license plates. It's been about four years since the Your Stories team first told you about the peeling plate problem, yet there are still so many affected cars driving around the streets of central New York, so we wanted to come to a big parking lot, where at the shopping plaza in DeWitt, home to Panera Bread and Bed Bath & Beyond, to see just how many defective plates there are. Let's take a walk. It's noon, and the parking lot at Marshall's Plaza is packed. Among the 140 cars we count, it's not hard to find peeling plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen of 140 cars. That's one for every ten, with laminate dramatically stripping off the metal, including the yellow plates on Diane Becker's SUV. Well, I noticed it a little while ago, and I, I know that there has been this problem before, and I didn't know what to do about it. New information tonight in a News Channel 9 investigation that started out as one of your stories. New York Our reporting led to the state waiving the cost of replacing defective plates. Drivers can submit photos to the DMV and be sent a new set for free. But why are plates still peeling four years later? The DMV refers us to the Department of Corrections, which oversees production of the plates at Auburn Prison. A spokesperson says the issue was investigated, but they couldn't replicate the peeling. The department is still monitoring for production problems and will make changes if necessary. Is it frustrating that something the state makes, the state gives you, the state requires, is defective? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's something that we shouldn't really have to worry about. You know, you, you get them when you get the car and you put them on and you shouldn't have to worry about those. Years after the problem started, drivers still have to. In DeWitt, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now, drivers with peeling plates can stop by their DMV office or call the Albany headquarters to be walked through the process. It was your calls and your emails that led our Your Stories team to investigate peeling plates four years ago. Give us a call anytime at 315-446-9900 or you can email your stories at localsyr.com.